So this was all about primary, secondary, and tertiary hello alkanes. C. This is this is primary hello alkane. This is secondary hello alkane, and this one is tertiary hello alkane. Here carbon, carbon, carbon. If this carbon which is attached to halogen is attached with three more carbon atoms, then it will be known as, then it will be known as three degree carbon atom. Will be known as three degree carbon atom. Here, this carbon, which is attached to function group, here, this carbon, which is attached to function group is further attached with two more carbon atoms. Then this carbon will be known as two degree carbon atom. And here, the carbon, which is attached to further which is attached to a halogen atom is further attached with one more carbon atom, so it will be known as one degree. This will be, this will be, this is one degree haloalkane, this is two degree haloalkane, and this is three degree haloalkane. This is the best definition. You will never get confused if you do like this. See here, once again, I'll be repeating, this is functional group. Carbon, which is attached with functional group, is further attached with three more carbon atoms, and it is known as three degree. And if it is attached with two more carbon atoms, if it is attached with two more carbon atoms, then it will be known as two degree carbon atom. And if this carbon, which is attached to halogen functional group, is further attached with one more carbon atom, then it will be known as one degree carbon atom. One degree haloalkane means carbon containing functional group halogen is further attached with one more carbon. Two degree haloalkane means that carbon which is attached with halogen will be further attached with two more carbon atoms. Three degree carbon atom means the carbon which is attached with functional group will be attached with three more carbon atoms. And quaternary carbon atom, quaternary compound means the carbon will be attached with four more carbon atoms. If all the four valencies of carbon is satisfied with four carbon atom, with four carbon atom, with four carbon atom, with four carbon atom, with four more carbon atoms. So this will be known as quaternary carbon atom or four degree. This is four degree, this is three degree, this is two degree, this is one degree. This carbon is attached with one more carbon, this carbon is attached with two more carbon, this carbon is attached with three more carbon, this carbon is attached with four more carbon atom. So on that basis, we'll be classifying them into primary, secondary, tertiary, or quaternary carbon atoms. Is this all okay? So that's what I have written here, one degree, two degree, three degree, but here I covered that four degree or quaternary carbon atom also, so you should know that too. So this was your first point introduction, then second was classification, because what your chapter is, haloalkanes and haloarenes. So just please remember, never see that how many hydrogens are there. Never see that on that basis, never do that how many hydrogens are attached with carbon. Fine, so always do on the basis of number of carbon atoms attached with the carbon atom having functional group. So on that basis, we can classify them into primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary haloalkanes or alcohols or whatever else it is, whatever else it is. Fine. So now second point is also over classification after introduction. Then third point, that is method of preparation of haloalkane and haloarene. Method of preparation of haloalkane and haloarenes. Now see. Now see, first method is from alcohol. From where you can prepare haloalkane or haloarene, as I told you, from haloalkane, from alcohol, haloalkanes can be prepared. Now see, first method is hello, first method is from alcohol. If you take C2H5OH, or you can say CH3, or you can say CH3, CH2, OH plus concentrate HCl in presence of anhydrous zinc chloride. Anhydrous zinc chloride. What this is? This is Lucas reagent. 
they can ask you directly that what lethal free agent is. And previously it was there. Options were anhydrous zinc chloride plus dilute SCL, then B, hydrated zinc chloride plus dilute SCL. Third option, hydrated zinc chloride plus concentrated HCl. Fourth option, anhydrous zinc chloride plus concentrate HCl. This will be the answer. What Lipa's reagent is? Anhydrous zinc chloride plus concentrate HCl. So that process is known as Groove's process. This process is known as Groove's process. In this group's process, alcohol reacts with concentrated Cl and anhydrous zinc chloride. What this anhydrous zinc chloride is? This anhydrous zinc chloride is Lewis acid. What it is? Lewis acid. What role it plays? It plays role of dehydrating agent. It acts as an dehydrating agent. This anhydrous zinc chloride acts as an as a dehydrating agent or you can say Lewis acid. Now see on heating, on heating what you will get? This, this H will combine with OH to form H2O and Cl will be there in place of OH. What you will get? C2H5 Cl. One and two degree haloalkanes can be formed but three degree will never react. 1 degree and 2 degree alcohols will react with concentrate HCl and anhydrous zinc chloride, but tertiary hello alcohol will never react with the anhydrous zinc chloride plus concentrate HCl. So that reaction will not never be possible. Fine. So now this all is over. So this uh, is over. So that is what I have written here. This is three degree alcohol. This three, three degree alcohol at room temperature reacts with SCL. Reacts with SCL, not Lucas reagent. Lucas reagent contains anhydrous zinc chloride also, but here that is not there. So if it is HCl only, then at room temperature, this will give tertiary hello alkane plus water. This is not Groove's process. So here they are talking about Groove's process. By Groove's process, 3 degree alcohol will never react with anhydrous zinc chloride and concentrate HCl to form 3 degree haloalkane. But if instead of concentrate HCl and anhydrous zinc chloride, only HCl is there and on and at room temperature, that 3, three degree hello alcohol reacts with HCl to form 3 degree haloalkane and water. This is not Groove's process. 3 degree alcohol re readily reacts with concentrate HCl in absence of anhydrous zinc chloride. That is what it is written here. Now see, if you see the reactivity order of HI, HBr and HCl, so HI will be most reactive and HCl will be least reactive because in case of H and I, size of H and I, there is huge difference between them. So their bond energy will be very, very less. So that will be most reactive. What about H and Cl? Their difference in size is not that much as it is there, there in case of H and I. So their activation energy, sorry, that dissociation of H and Cl will be little more difficult. So obviously then their activation energy will be more and reaction won't be possible or will be very, very slow. Three degree, two degree and one degree, hello, alcohol, 3 degree, 2 degree, 1 degree alcohol, their reactivity order will be 3 degree will be maximum and 1 degree alcohol will be minimum reactivity order. Because more the number of electron donating groups or plus I group, you know CH3 is uh, electron donating group now, this is CH3. So this CH3 is electron donating group that is plus I group, more the number of plus I group, more will be the steric hindrance, lesser will be the reactivity. More will be the dispersal of charge there on this, that is, that is plus I effect, more the dispersal of charge, more will be the stability, lesser will be the reactivity. So it is plus I effect and steric effect because of these two effects, the reactivity of tertiary alcohol, will be least, will be 
will be sorry maximum will be maximum so three degree alcohol will be most reactive and one degree alcohol will be least reactive now see Now see, this was first group's reaction. Now the second one. Second one, when RCH2, instead of writing HBr, from where you will get HBr? You will get HBr from NaBr plus H2SO4. So from there, you will get HBr. So in previous case, you wrote HCl. Here it is HBr, that is freshly prepared HBr on heating. This alcohol will get converted into RBr, RBr, HBr plus RCH2OH. This H will combine with this OH to form H2O, and what you will get RCH2Br, RCH2Br. That is RBr. That is RBr. That is one degree RBr. And other than that, what you will be getting NaHSO4 plus H2O. NHSO4 plus H2. If you take Ki with H2SO4 on heating, this RCH2OH get converted into Ri, that is for one degree haloalkane only. That is for one degree haloalkane only. So these two are uh, these two are methods of preparation of haloalkane and haloarene. First was alcohol, and in alcohol, first is Groves process in which concentrated Cl and anhydrous zinc chloride reacts with. Uh, alcohol and here uh, this uh, primary and secondary hello canes can be formed, but never three degree hello canes will be formed by this group's process. And tertiary alcohol reacts with SCL, not with the pass reagent at room temperature to form tertiary, tertiary butyl chloride. Other than that, H2O will also be formed. This is not group's process. Three degree alcohol reacts most readily, HI reacts most readily, and HCl reacts with the slowest history, uh, rate. Then second, first was this, then second is NABR plus H2SO4 instead of HCl plus ZNCl2. So there you will be getting RBR, and if it's KI plus H2SO4 on heating, then we will be getting RI only. So this is all about this. Uh, uh, from alcohol, so many more reactions are there. This is already done there, there in our uh, previous class now. Whenever any organic compound, whenever any organic compound reacts with PCl3, product form will always be H3, PO3. If it is PCl5, then product form will always be POCl3. And if it is SOCl2, then the product form will always be SO2. So this is already done. And this drawback of this one is it is only for one degree hello alkane, not for two degree or three degree hello alkane. Then Darzel's process, SOCl2, that is also done in presence of C5, H5N, that is pyridine or ether. We will get this compound as important, SO2 and CN also. That would be gas only. And that's why this is the best method. This is the best method to prepare hello alkane. Because no impurity will be there, there in that pure compound. So Darzen's process is also over. Now, from this was all about alcohol. Now, phenol. Now, phenol. Phenol from phenol directly ARH, that is haloerene, that is not possible because the bond between this AR and OH will be very, very strong due to resonance and that displacement of this OH by H will be little difficult. OH is a poor, poor leaving group, can't be displaced by H because AROH bond is a strong because of resonance. That is what I told you and is written also there. Now see. OH is a poor leaving group, is not very reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reaction. To activate an alcohol for subsequent reaction with a nucleophile, OH must be converted into H2O plus group, which is a good leaving group. H2O plus is a leaving group, but OH minus is not a good leaving group. So presence of electron withdrawing group NO2 at ortho and para position with reference to H increases reactivity. So this is all about from alcohol, 
this is all about preparation of alkane from alcohol. There we discussed about Groves process. There we discussed about Darzen's process. There we discussed about the PCL3, PCL5, etc. There we discussed about the hello alcohol plus plus HCl. That is not Dar. Uh, that is not a, a, a Groves process. And uh, so this is all about from alcohol. Tomorrow we will start with the preparation of halogen from disonium salts. So that's also very, very, very fine. Thank you very much for tonight. That's all. Thank you very much.